Well, yeah, as uh, can be seen, uh, clamping things in a vise, I showed on the uh, milling machine that uh, the vise can stretch a couple thousandths if you torque on it a little bit. But uh, this job here I'm doing for myself is for my steady rest, and uh, I gotta get uh, some set screws to locate the tips that I. I machine this for and I'm going to have roller tips here so they kind of have to be indexed and I want to have a uh, set screw at 90 degrees to the adjusting screw so they track okay and you know I'm going to take a few precautions to get there I got this on the jig bore um, I have a, a piece of ground metal back here and I can take and um, slide this uh, part um, back against those uh, the, the V blocks there and I've, I've got a clamp a little uh, patch of lead there so I can push this back very gently and I'll go ahead and set this indicator here to zero if I can it's one ten thousandths the little marks and the numbers are 1,000. So that's just a little over, uh, I don't know, 25 million. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to start clamping this down. And that's tight enough. And uh, I don't know if it deflected 10 millionths or something like that. <laughs> it didn't deflect very much. And it's in there. And I can't, I, I'm pulling hard. Oh, 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 oh. I might need to get that a little bit tighter. Or maybe I touch something else. Oh, just a little bit snugger. Right about there. Let's see. There we go. Nothing's moving. <laughs> now I'm going to loosen it one more time. Just because I got that needle to move. Okay, I'm going to push it back. I'm going to say that's pretty good. It may be a uh, half a tenth deflection. Let's kick it around. Oh, it looks like it just kind of creeped back to zero, didn't it? I got a piece of lead there that kind of squishes a little bit. I, I think a half a tenth is, uh, is plenty good. But that's a lot less than um, clamping in a vise. So always clamping with table clamps is, is much better. But you can overdo table clamps too. Okay, well I'm going to get ready and drill these holes in this uh, more jig boring machine. Um, 
drive from the spindle to right here is the uh, drive mechanism for uh, the spindle feed. So that's how I reduced it. Okay, now we're going to get down and uh, uh, drill a hole. Okay, what we have here is uh, a fully adjustable Ericsson 180 double angle collet, uh, collet chuck. So I can get things to run really true in this thing, or actually uh, almost dead true. And then I got an Ericsson number 300 collet chuck extension with uh, a tap drill bit that I selected for um, a quarter 28 fine thread. So I'm going to drop this down there and I'm going to lower the speed too. Okay, that's cast iron. Move this over a little and we can drop it down. Okay, here we go. Start that hole. Now I got that drill held by the margins. It's a standard length drill. So it's grabbed by the flutes with the double angle collar. Start it good. Okay, there it goes. That cuts like really high quality uh, cast iron, which it is. Okay, it's through. Up the head goes. I'm going to toss this old glove here. Grab these larger than necessary wrenches <laughs> and get that out. The trouble with these Ericsson collets sometimes is they, uh, um, I think I have to go up a little higher here. That's a long box chuck extension. There we go. Oh my goodness, there we go. See, that's a long extension. And this extension goes up to a quarter inch. Had a, um, a GoPro camera moment where it just suddenly shut off, so I just cl uh, clicked it back on, and I can do some editing now and uh, put that back together. I'm going to change the collet out to a three-quarter inch collet. Come on, get in there. And I'm going to put this center in there. Just a kind of a blunt center that I that I made for this purpose. Just has to be a little bit snug. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now, where is the handle for this thing? It's got to be right here. There it is. Okay, let's see if I got it, left myself enough room. I don't, yeah, up, up. Never enough room. That much it needs. Okay. Then I'll just use that to guide this tap in there, okay? And away we go. Very much like that. These are some uh, real high dollar taps that were surplus from Boeing. <laughs> and uh, either once used or, uh, or perhaps never used. And I kind of like uh, um, some of these, like this one has a uh, little tighter H limit where, th where the screw's just a little less sloppy in there. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, got that out of there. 
Okay, I, uh, here I am. I only got two more of these to do, and I'll get them done, and uh, I've got a whole bunch of other things going, and uh, I want to do, I'm going to get some help on it, and uh, to video uh, some basic wiring on the Monarch 10 double E's. Um, so that's coming up. I, I got so many things to do, but thanks for tagging along on the things that I really need to get done. Okay, bye.